Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So it's my honor to share with you what happened today in the premium group. And I want to show you the results from today's signals and also, of, co of course, from uh, Thursday. Last Thursday was really good as well. As we can see, these are the results right front of you. And I wanted to mention how the AUD USD has made 100 pips of profit, Euro USD. 50 pips of profit also i wanted to share with you what happened today in the premium group as we can see i'm just showing you all the results today we have noticed that the pound is making some naughty pips and it was moving really in very high volatility and therefore we decided to close most of the pound signals as we can see 50 pips of loss uh, sorry five pips of loss 15 and three only and honestly, I don't know any other signal provider doing that. We closed these signals because we were really worried about your funds and it's our top priority to make sure that you are growing and making money with our service. However, all these signals, as we can see, eventually after closing them, they went into the deep profit. Now, of course, we did the right thing because we were uh, not sure what was going to happen and the pound was moving very fast and therefore we had to close that. But however, we kept some other signals running. As we can see, Euro and ZD, we kept it running and it went uh, in 50 pips of profit, hitting the take profit number two. Also, CAD JPY uh, take profit number one with 20 pips of profit. Euro and ZD alone has actually covered all of the losses plus few pro uh, profit as well. And of course, as a sign of respecting our members, we had to explain to them what happened today, even though the losses was really so tiny and not even worth to mention. We still, as a sign of respecting our members and to fight scamming, we always have to be very transparent to them and respecting them. Therefore, we had to explain to them what happened and that we are care for their funds. And the reason for closing these signals in the very small, small, tiny losses is only to avoid any... Um, losses happen to their account and of course eurocad also has reached 50 pips of profit later so today was very successful day as well in my opinion and i believe we are doing really so well and this is how forex guys it is uh, ups and downs and you sometimes have to take some decisions and of course you have to be careful about your fund and be wise about your trades so Again, we are doing really very well and I'm very proud of our work. And if you wish to guys to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. So let's now begin with the midweek analysis. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro UST. Uh, I'm very proud of my signal for the Euro UST. As we can see, the pair has went in the same direction I have predicted. But however, the, the signal hasn't, hasn't been triggered. Now, what's going to happen next with the Euro USD? Now, from my point of view, Euro USD right now is facing a Fibonacci 61.8 level. As we can see, this is the Fibonacci 61.8 retracement. And right now, the pair is moving, uh, sorry, is facing a resistance on that level. Now, in my opinion, eventually, by seeing this strong bullish candle, the Euro USD is actually going to be able eventually to break out from that level. However, this might be taking some time because we have to expect from the Euro UST to fall again to Fibonacci retracement number 50, which was also previously a strong key support level, as we can see right here. Uh, that level, I think, is going to be respected and revisited again. So therefore, we have to expect from the Euro UST, uh, especially after seeing these uh, two candles. These two candles usually indicate for a bearish reversal. So therefore, we can expect from the Euro UST to start falling for a little bit more, hitting Fibonacci retracement number 50. And after that, uh, of course, it's going to finish, uh, finish the pullback. And right after that, the pair is actually going to continue the rise and break out from Fibonacci 61.8. Once that happens, the market is going to change the direction of the trend and it's going to become a new bullish trend. So therefore, we can expect from the uh, Euro UST to actually continue the rise. That being said, if in case you didn't enter the signal for the Euro USD, uh, let me of course delete the all signal first. Getting rid of everything. And let me just show you where we can start again buying the Euro USD. So actually, oh, let me just draw Fibonacci again. Right here. 
so actually we can start again buying the euro usd if i'm not mistaken right here uh, it has to reverse for another uh, 27 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy again so buy at 1.20761 and of course the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit more below that support right here because this is where i'm expecting from the pair so i'm not expecting i mean it, there is a chance for the pair to actually fall until that level just to create a support number two that's going to be fair enough let me get rid of, of the fibonacci and just draw for you the edge of the safe zone just like that and of course if in case we started buying the euro usd from that point we can expect uh, the pair to continue the rise until it reaches that broken sorry that strong resistance at 1.22154 which is going to be eventually uh, 140 pips hopefully going to be also very good profit so take profit level 1.22154 there goes your signal for the euro usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well and bring us lots of profits um pound usd the pound usd signal has been triggered exactly from where i have mentioned and i'm really very happy for that as we can see the signal running so far in um 95 94 pips of profit amazing and the pair is actually approaching the take profit number one also the take profit level so what we, what is going to happen next in my opinion um the pound usd eventually not going to be or not going to be able to directly reach the take profit level if i'm not mistaken um the pound usd is going to actually fall a little bit more down to retest the broken resistance right here i think right here exactly right here um, as we can see, the pair has already went down to retest that level. Um, let me show you. By seeing these three weeks right here, these are indicates that the pair has already tried to revisit or retest that broken resistance on 1.37584. Now, what's going to happen next? I think uh, we cannot expect much. We have to wait how how the pound is going to react to the take profit level uh it is still uh, um 27 pips far from the take profit level and if i'm not mistaken the pair um i'm not honestly sure how what will gonna happen we have to wait and see what will gonna happen we cannot just rush and start buying but however um just for the sake of the of the members and looking at the daily candles i'm certainly sure that buying again when the market somehow retests that broken resistance at 1.37584, that's going to be our really good chance to start again buying the pound. That being said, let me just change this one here. And yeah, this one I'm going to keep it because this is going to be our new buy level. So pound should be good for the buy at 1.37584. I believe we have to wait for the pair to fall for another uh, 38 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. And of course, the safe zone should be ranging until that pre previous support level. I think that's somehow a lot. Yes. Uh, let me just mark this previous resistance right here. That should be fair enough for the safe zone, which is going to be about uh, 48 pips, which is really fair enough as well. So there goes the safe uh, zone. And for the target, if in case we started buying the pair again, I believe it's uh, safely to say that we should keep the same take profit level exactly because in my opinion uh, that's going to be safe option and therefore it's going to be approximately uh, 60 or, or 68 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so there goes your signal for the pound USD and in my opinion the pair might actually continue the rise since the retest has already happened but however we this is the only uh, the only clear signal valid so far for the pound now let's look at the AUD USD. AUD USD signal has also been triggered as we can see the pair has reversed just I mean less than one pip I mean less than a pip uh, before touching my trigger area however I'm gonna take the credit for that and I'm gonna consider it as a triggered trade because it's just silly to take away this credit from me because of just less than a pip guys come on so anyway I would say that the AUD USD is uh, going so far in 71 pips of profit so what's going on right now with the AUD USD? i think AUD USD is also facing fibonacci 61.8 exactly yes so just similar to the euro USD, 
we have to wait to see what will gonna happen with the pair after it being able to break out or reverse from that level and of course very similar to the to the to the euro usd we have to rely on that strong support or sorry key support level on the left because most likely uh, the pair can, can actually retest that level again before gonna be able finally to make the breakout from the Fibonacci 61.8 on 0 0.7255. So therefore, and of course, um, these candles, these three candles actually, they are my favorite price action, which indicates a bearish reversal. So that's why I'm expecting from the AUDUSD to fall a little bit more to create the pullback right here, retesting that broken resistance on 0 0.76975 and after that, the pair is going to be again valid for the buy and we can keep the trade running until hitting exactly the same previous take profit level. So what we're going to do is actually just drag the take profit, uh, sorry, the buy order just like that. Just move it like that because we're going to use almost the same uh, uh, size. Oh, oh my God, man. Okay, one second. So just to save your time, I have already made it again. And therefore, there goes your signal for the AUDUST. We have to wait for it to make the pullback uh, just for about 34 pips only before it's going to be valid for the buy again. And hopefully also it's going to be continuing to giving us more profits. And hopefully this is going to continue to be one great week for everyone. Now looking at the USD CAD. USDCAD actually has went in the same direction I have, I have predicted as well, but however, the trade hasn't been triggered. So the trade is going well, but however, not in, uh, I, the trade hasn't been triggered, as I said. So therefore, what we can expect from the USDCAD, in my opinion, USDCAD right now is facing a strong support level, as we can see right here. Now, supported by the weakness of the USD dollar currency index, I believe with this strong bearish candle or strong bearish mo uh, movement, the pair has already retested that long-term resistance, as we can see right here on um, 1.27640. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we are having right here a resistance number one. And since I, as I told you before, the pair is facing here a strong support level, we can expect from the USD CAD to make a pullback again to create a, a resistance number two. And right from that point, we can start again shorting the USD CAD. And the target this time is going to be right here that support at 1.26135. So we have to wait for the USD CAD to, to, uh, to rise for another 50 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. So therefore, I'm going to put uh, the, the sell order exactly right here, get rid of the take profit level, and the, the sell order is going to be changed to be 1.27374. That's going to be our new guy or our new uh, sell uh, level. And I'm going to, of course, keep the same safe zone as before. And the target, of course, as I said before, is going to be right here, the lowest level of the support at this level. So it's going to be um, on 1.26296. So we are actually looking uh, to make another 106 pips profit from the USD CAD. And hopefully also it will be another good signal and we will make some good profits out of it. Let's look right now at the USD JPY. USD GPY signal is just amazing. I mean, look at that perfection. That's completely perfect signal, guys. Come on, give it to me. Uh, the reversal happened exactly from the level I have mentioned, and I'm very proud of that, of course. And the, the, the pair is running so far in total of 100 pips of profit. I really uh, hope everyone have taken this signal and they have entertained making some good profits from this one. However, What's going to happen next? I mean, I think the USDJPY is right now making a pullback and I think it's going to rise a little bit more just to hit that previous resistance right here. Uh, exactly right here. Let me just be accurate. Yes, here at 104.814. And right after that, the pair might continue the fall. The bearish momentum is very, very strong, actually. And I really don't see the USDJPY rising uh, at all. I'm only seeing the pullback might happen right here. Exactly right here. 
this is what I'm expecting from the, from the pair to make the pullback. So it might rise for another um, 20 pips, I would say, 23 pips before going to be valid for the short. Again, that being said, um, UST GPY should be good for the short from uh, 104.830. And of course, I'm going to keep the same uh, level of, as the safe zone. Let me just move it. Just drag it a little bit more, just like that. And like that, we are just going to keep the same uh, safe zone. And the take, the take profit level is going to be after 132 pips of profit. Really, hopefully, it's going to be a good signal. And the target, as I said, is that, that support level at 103.550. That's going to be our target and hopefully it's going to work very well and hopefully we will make some good profits from this signal. USTCHF, look at that. USTCHF has also been triggered and it's going in a very good and deep profit as we can see. Uh, yes, it has been triggered exactly from here. And so far, uh, USTCHF is running in 78 pips of profit. I really hope everyone have taken this signal. And I think by the end of this video, it's going to hit the take profit level. Anyway, what's going to happen next? Um, the bearish momentum is very strong as well for the USTCHF. As we can see, the pair is facing this major resistance level right here. And most likely the pair is going to make a reaction to that level of the resistance. And this, therefore, we can expect from the USTCHF to, to make a pullback and retesting that broken support level right here at 0 0.89520. And right after that, the pair with the strong bearish momentum is going to actually be able to break out from that level and continue the fall at least to hit that support level right here. So therefore, USTCHF is going to be good for the short again, right here. Exactly right here, because uh, as we can see, this is the peak of the resistance uh, at that level, which was also previously a support. And we can see that the pair has already made one other attempt to retest that broken resistance. So we can see right here what we can consider as resistance number one. So we can now look for the pullback to create resistance number two. And after that, the pair is boom, going to continue the fall. That being said, we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 23 pips before it's going to be valid for the short. So therefore, USTCHF is going to be good for the short at 89466. And of course, I'm going to take the same uh, safe zone edge, just like that. Exactly. And the take profit level is going to be right here, the lowest level of the support. So we are actually looking this time to make, uh, I would say, 100 or 98 pips of profit from this deal. So therefore, the take profit level is going to be 0 0.8488. Good number. So there goes your signal for the USDCHF and hopefully, sorry, USDS, USDCHF. And hopefully also it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's look at the gold. Today I have sent the uh, deal of the day for the gold. Uh, I believe it's here. Yes, as you can see, this is my deal of the day for the gold. Uh, the take profit level has already been hit and look at that complete perfection. I mean, I should have sent a signal to start sell the gold right here. That would have been even better, right? Anyway, uh, the signal has also been triggered, as you can see, and immediately went in, I think, uh, it went in total of 126 pips of profit before continuing the fall. So therefore, we are not really sure what will going to happen. We have to be careful. And actually, I'm expecting from the gold to fall a little bit more before going to continue the rise again. So guys, if you have opened this deal, please close it. And let's wait for the new deal of the day tomorrow or after tomorrow. Anyway. Uh, what I was going to say is, on the 15 minute time frame, sorry, uh, I went in the deal of the day video. <laughs> we are going back now to the gold. As you can see, uh, the trade has almost, almost been triggered. This is this is my signal for the uh, gold from the last weekly analysis. And it's, look at that. The, tr the gold has reversed just just 13 pips before reaching my take my my entry level. However, the gold has eventually went and 412 pips of profit really i'm so proud again and i really hope you guys have taken this signal somehow because it has reversed before reaching my entry level sadly 
I cannot take credit, but I will take credit for uh, predicting the right direction. However, um, it's obvious right now that the gold is facing a really strong and major support level at 1,800. The gold is not able to break out from that level. Every single time happens, and as we can see, there was a strong bullish reversal. Every single time, even right here, once the pair reaching 1,800, it boom, immediately make a bullish reversal, and the same happened right here. So that support zone right here is very strong. Now, the only thing we can expect from the gold that it actually might continue the rise again, because if I'm not mistaken, the target is going to be eventually 1,900. But that might take some time to happen. I think, I mean, maybe this is going to happen by mid-March or, 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 or maybe end of March. However, uh, eventually, I don't think this is going to happen this week, of course. I don't see it happening. But however, we are still looking for uh, longing the gold. So the question is where we can start actually longing the gold. Now let me show you that we are facing right here a strong support level as we can see uh, on 1818. If we look at the left we can notice that this level was a very strong key resistance level in the past and however every single time that rev level has been respected right here as a support uh, sorry as a resistance and also as a support. So that level cannot can never never ever be be ignored. So we have to wait for the gold to fall a little bit more, just to hit the exact same level, or sorry, to touch the exact same level of that previous uh, support right here, before it's gonna be again valid for the buy. And if in case we started buying the gold from that level, our target is gonna be the resistance on 1,868. So that being said, let me get rid of that. And this is going to be our new level to start buying the gold. Let, let me just be more accurate as much as possible. Like that. So, um, yes, for the buy at 1,819, um, I would say, is, uh, okay, 18. That's going to be the level where we will start again buying the gold. And of course, the safe zone should be ranging just a little bit, little bit below that support level or just like that exactly my eyes actually looking right here guys for that support level but the problem is the safe zone is going to be huge i mean 130 pips but however the target this time is also going to be massive as well because we are looking for at least 540 pips of profit let me just be more realistic and just select this level right here yes that is actually more convenient so we are looking for 480 pips of profit so the take profit level for the gold is going to be 1867.85 and for the safe zone of course this is how it's gonna look like so there goes your signals uh, for this midweek analysis uh, and I really hope it's going to continue to be giving us a lot of profits and hopefully this is going to be a very good week for everyone. So eventually in the end, I hope that that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.